guys welcome to this video we are in France okay so we got my cousin hey. we got Sophia hey. okay awesome <laughs> so we're here uh, we're in our Airbnb right now and um, here let me show you guys around okay so this is the kitchen all right we got the kitchen we got some gains being gonna be made over here you know we got the sink gains we got the pantry or we got this cabinet gains we have microwave gains, trash can gains, toaster gains, iPod gains. Um, and then we go out to this room, we got sofa. We have this like, all, these two awesome windows. They're awesome, cause they're awesome. And um, we have a table. We have this little area right here. And a bed, the bathroom right here. We're really, we were really disappointed when we didn't get one of those fancy toilets that cleans your butt. Whatever. Next time. Um, but yeah, we got a t we got a sh nice shower. Dude, selfie game. Poof. All right. We got a sink and let me show you guys the view real quick. See that view? So dope. So dope. So as you guys can see, we're we're living it up right now. So um, today I'm actually gonna like kind of do this on the spot. We're gonna do a full day of eating. It's currently almost three here, so I'm gonna technically break my fast right now. I'm gonna have one bowl of oatmeal with uh, one packet of oatmeal and then one scoop of PE Science Vegan Protein, and then I'm probably gonna put like maybe some stevia in there if I can find some, or just some sugar, I guess. And, uh, and that's gonna be our very first meal. Just because you're on vacation does not mean you have to go absolutely crazy. Yes, we're gonna probably eat out today, but it's gonna be more of an intuitive eating approach. So I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how I like look at the menu and make sure that it's like quote unquote macro and calorie friendly, okay? So let's get to it. is the final product so this is one scoop of vegan protein and then one packet of oatmeal so it kind of looks like some fancy creme brulee thing but really it just um, yeah it's just not so we're gonna eat this right now and then we're probably gonna go out to a like, little cafe and just walk around and stuff like that but uh, the fact of the matter is why I did this instead of like not doing it is because when you're dieting and you're traveling Protein is your top priority, okay? Obviously, it comes down to calories in, calories out, so I have a certain number of calories that I'm trying to stay under right now, but my current macros are 200 protein, uh, no, 200 protein, 250 grams of carbs, and 70 grams of fats, so uh, this isn't really gonna put a dent into any of that, but I just wanna make sure that I start getting my protein in because that is the most important macro that I'm trying to hit while traveling, okay? So you're gonna see that later on when I choose my meals and such. But yeah, so we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go, okay? Okay, right now we're in the streets of Paris, right? Yeah? <laughs> Here, look how cool this architecture is. What's up, dude? Oh, it's so sick. Welcome to this commentary, guys. I'm just going to kind of talk about what is in front of me right now and a little bit of how I go about tracking this kind of stuff. So, as you can see, we're in France. So, it says rib steak, approximately 280 grams. So, they actually gave you the measurements to that, which is absolutely amazing. Like, usually you do not see that at restaurants. So, basically, what I just did is I went on my fitness pal and then I just searched that up and I just put it into my. Um, my calories for the day and that's exactly how I tracked it okay now uh, after searching it up on my fitness pal I got a pretty rough estimate 
Uh, of course, I rounded up a little bit just because I knew, you know, it wasn't going to be 100%, like 280 grams of beef. Uh, you know, it said it was approximate, but that's completely fine. I'm completely okay with that. Uh, basically, what I have to say about that is um, that, you know, when you're traveling, uh, you don't really have to worry too much about that kind of stuff uh, because obviously nothing's going to be like 100% perfect like you would when you track out like your house or something. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I go about tracking my food and everything like that when I'm out traveling and especially like in another country. Here you see me pushing the bread away. Do not have the bread. I know it's tempting. You got to put that crap away. Uh, here you see that I took the sauce out just to make sure that I got a little bit less calories in. And then this specific uh, instance with the fries and stuff, what I did is type in French fries on my fitness pal. And then I just estimated the weight. Now, the good thing about tracking your macros all the time is that I can, I'm really good at estimating weights for food and such. And that's why I always recommend that you guys do that too. Uh, I also had uh, that little bit of salad, and then I also had uh, an espresso as well. And then uh, there you saw my sister's dessert is literally on fire. I don't even know. I think that's creme brulee. Um, but yeah, no dessert for me. Just kind of cut back on the calories and such. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I also did have a Diet Coke as well. So let's see what this next scene is. So there we go. That's pretty much everything for this meal. And here we're going to head out of the restaurant. And uh, yeah, so that's how you guys track your food in terms of going out to eat and stuff like that. Just search everything up on my fitness pal and it should be pretty self-explanatory, okay? Okay, so we're walking in Paris right now. We just finished up that meal. Uh, it's pretty good. Of course, uh, I'm going to give you guys some tips right now about like eating out and stuff like that. Yes, there was a lot of calories in that meal, but it doesn't really... You have to take into consideration a bunch of different things and this is why I always recommend that you weigh out your food because because I weigh out my food, I'm really nutritiously conscious, I think that's the word, but pretty much what that means is that I can look at a plate and pretty much determine just about how many calories is in the plate. When I look at food and everything like that, I can pretty much take into consideration all the different fats, carbs, and proteins that it has in it. So just keep that in mind when you guys are going out. When you weigh out your food, you're really good at guesstimating and stuff like that. So I, of course, rounded up and I went up to about 500 to 600 calories per that meal. And that's completely okay because I gave myself a little bit of wiggle room. All right, so just keep that in mind. All right, I'm not too sure how well you guys can hear me. But right now, we're about to get on the train. Um, in France, there's pretty much like no English translations as far as we're concerned. So we're kind of like winging this. And my sister's a tour guide for us. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how this works out. But we are gonna take the train, the, the metro, it's called to uh, some place called the Gallo. We're going to Louvois. So we just stopped at a like, what was it called? Bio me, and we picked up two apples. So we're gonna be logging two apples. Uh, I usually do one apple is either 22 to 25 grams of carbs, and that's it. So we're gonna add 50 grams of carbs just to round up and be safe. So we just had that, and then we're gonna explore around a little bit more, and then I'll get back to you guys after that. Okay, guys, here with another voiceover. So. 
Uh, perfect example of what you would do with uh, this is pretty much what I did is I went on my fitness pal, I searched up gelato. Okay, that's what this is, it's a gelato, and I just took the first name brand that came out, which was Briars, and that's exactly how I did that. What's going on guys? So we just got home right now. I'm having another uh, one packet of oatmeal and then one scoop of the peas. Science vegan protein. What's up Sophia? Alright, cool. Uh, we're going to be cooking chicken. So I went to the local grocery store and I can't tell you how hard it is to buy groceries when they're in French. It's impossible. So I finally found the chicken in the, um, in the place and literally like how clutch is this? If you if you track macros hardcore and you've had to use these before, you know that this is literally like a godsend lifesaver, okay? Uncle Ben, thank you for going international for me. I appreciate you, boy. And yeah, so we're gonna probably have one of these too. I need to look at my macros after I have this little creme brulee looking oatmeal chocolate thing. And then yeah, we're gonna eat that and then we're gonna cook some chicken and I'll show you guys that in a second. Alright guys, so we're sitting here, we have two servings, uh, so that whole bag of the Uncle Ben's basmati white rice, we have 12 ounces of chicken right here, and then we did use uh, a tiny bit of olive oil too, which I tracked in here, so the total macros for this meal are going to be on the screen right now, okay, and then I'm going to eat this and then we're going to see if we have anything left over to uh, kind of like indulge in and stuff, but as you can see guys, you can definitely hit your macros and get really close to them even when you're traveling. It just takes that little bit of effort and discipline to go out and buy your food, cook it. You know, if you have an Airbnb, you're most likely going to get like a kitchen and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I just used that kitchen. It was an electronic stove, so it wasn't the best. Um, and it was like, uh, what I mean by that is like, it was literally like this little piece of like metal that heated up. It was like nothing like crazy. So, uh, yeah, definitely like you don't have to worry about any of that. You can make do with what you have. And, um, yeah, so we're going to eat this right now and then I'll talk to you guys in a second. <laughs> So uh, we just finished that up and we have about 25 grams of carbs left. So I looked around the house and we had these. So these are Haribo's, like little, uh, you guys definitely know these. There's like sour, like sugary goodness. And they're like little like licorice things. And I weighed out 25 grams and we are Gucci. It's like about 20 grams of carbs. So I'm still going to be a little bit under. Um, but yeah guys, so I'm gonna put the macros for this exact little snack on the on the on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, just so you guys can know. Okay guys, so we I actually literally didn't even get to film the rest of what happened last night because I was so I guess you can call it jet lagged and I was just so tired. So I went to bed early so I could wake up uh, early this morning to edit videos for uh, a couple things that I'm doing on the side and then just currently like YouTube videos and whatnot But yeah, so that was a full day of eating yesterday guys The key main takeaway is that when you track your food at home when you travel It's a lot easier to kind of figure out however many calories you're gonna be able to have you're able to do this on the fly um, Not everything has to be spot-on when you're traveling because it's just not all right, but you can do things in order to prepare, okay? So yesterday, I didn't not go out to eat, okay? I went out to eat two times. The first time, I had the steak, french fries, and a little bit of salad. All right, that meal was roughly 500 calories. And then the time I went out after that was the gelato, and that really wasn't anything either, okay? So pretty much what I did for both meals is search up the individual ingredients and estimate the sizes and the measurements for each specific uh, food that I was eating. And then I just calculated that in my fitness pal and it was all good. It gave me a really, really rough estimate. Um, another thing that I wanna like kind of add in there is that um, don't be lazy, okay? So when you travel, a lot of people make excuses as to why you're not sticking to your macros, sticking to your calories and whatnot. But 
Yes, you can enjoy yourself, you can enjoy the sights, and you can say no to like the temptations that surround you, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching the very first video for these uh, Paris and Spain, Spain vlogs. This episode was a full day of eating, and then the next couple ones, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get lifting content. Of course, eating foods and tracking macros while you're out. I also want to give you guys my top tips for uh, staying in shape while traveling, so that might be the next video. But stay tuned, guys, because I want to help you uh, the best that I can and just educate you guys on how you can track macros while you travel and stuff. So thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. Like this video if you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Thank you.